good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. This is your hippie and hippie painter man coming at you once again from beautiful Key Largo, Florida. How y'all doing out there today? The hippie is doing pretty good for a man who is painting at 5 a.m. in the morning still. Been working on a few today. Alright. Hopefully we're going to do us a swipe today, maybe two, we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm going to be using these 6x6 wood squares that we picked up from the dollar store. Wouldn't recommend it, they're over a dollar a piece, which is just nuts for, for unfinished wood, you know. When I'm paying 16 cents a piece for my uh, tiles, but we picked this up some before we started getting the tiles and so we're getting around to using them now. What am I going to do today? Well, I think that's what I'm going to make a... I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I think that's when I'm going to use some of my new colors down here. I just got this the other day over at Sherman Williams. I'm going to try this stuff out. This is called Betty. Betty. Oh my goodness. Now that is a lovely shade of berry smoothie in it. Check that out, man. That's pretty cool. Look at that, mama. That's a berry smoothie all day, ain't it? All right, so I'll go ahead and let me see here. Go ahead and pour some of that on there, not too much. Whoop. That's probably about five times more than I need. Hard to pour from the container. I will end up putting this stuff in the squirt bottles like I have over there. But this for tonight is the first time I've ever used this. So I went ahead and got it straight from the source. Now this uh, spinner that I'm working on here, it has been leveled. I made sure it was leveled up. Of course you wouldn't know it from the way that paint is headed this way. That's kind of weird. Don't know why it's doing that. but. We'll Turn it around that way and maybe it'll head this way. Alright, let's go ahead and spread that across there. Let's go ahead and get us some colors down here. And we'll do us a swipe. What colors are we going to use on that pretty background? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to use some eye candy colors. Let's start off hmm, putting a little Shinto Shrine on there which is a color shift color that has purple and copper in it. And I don't know what the other colors are. I'm no good at that. We're gonna go ahead and put that, put us a line across there of that. Oh, I put a lot of that. I didn't mean to put that much. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little bit of that. We're gonna put a little bit of this eye candy Tori, that's T-O-R-I-I, which is a ultra shift color gives you a little bit of purple and blue and boy it's got a bunch of colors there. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Just right on the edge of that. Alright we're gonna use a little bit of this ghost galactic ghost violet on this one. Got across there. Uh-huh. Shift that down. Let's use Deep Ocean Green next. There we go. Let's do a little candy red. This candy red. All these pigments are just amazing. The quality is super good. I don't know if I have mentioned it thus far, but I am an eye candy affiliate. And you can, let's sweep my cup in a little bit there. You can go to my description for this video Click the link there to go to the eye candy website and if you use the code that I have put in there for you, you will save 10% on your pigments. And like I said, outstanding quality, they're about a quarter the price of uh, most of the other pigments. So you get a lot for your money and uh, get you some. Alright, we're going to use as our cell activated today, going to use us a little bit of Payne's Gray 
and that is uh, Amsterdam Paints Gray with uh, three to one on uh, Aussie Flow Troll. Three parts Aussie Flow Troll, one part Paints Gray. Now, um, according to where you live and what the humidity is and all of that, that might be different for you. Um, what you're looking for is a certain thickness, which um, you can again, don't know if you can see it because I know the light's not great right now, but that's what you're looking for right there. If you get that thickness, you are good to go. I'm going to start from the side right in here and go into it. And there we go. I'm digging that swipe. That looks pretty. I'm going to get me a smaller paddle, put a little bit more on it, and go in some places there. Let's get this tiny one here, this small one here. This is not the tiny one, but this is a small little one. Go ahead and we'll dip it. And we're going to go across here. And we'll go across here. And one more time. I'm wiping this off in between these dips into the cup because I don't want these colors in my cell activator. Let's go ahead and put a little heat to it. Get whatever bubbles there are there. And we'll spin it. All right, guys. I've been using these little glue sticks lately. And the cool thing about them is that you can take an, got a flat edge, see? So you can run right down that edge without having to worry about messing up your size real bad. Now the reason you do this here, the reason you take this off the edge is so that your paint can flow freely when you spin because if not, it will flow right down there into that puddle and stop. See what we got there. Mm. I'm digging that. And I bet you when that dries, that is just gonna be amazing because you can see that ghost colors coming through there and there. And some over here in the background, and that's gonna come out absolutely sweet when it dries. Now let's see how much paint we got on there. Let's see if I have to spin any further. Oh no, it's good to go. It's good to go. We will take a little embellishment tool that I have here, a little stylus, and we'll mess around a little bit of him. What do I want to do? Well, I believe I want to take some of this black here and move it into there, spin it around a bit. It didn't work out well. Let's take it from this side. That's pretty. Take a little bit of this out and bring it that way. What else do I want to do here? Oh, we got this gold right here. Let's bring this in here. Hold on. So it's a couple of these here. Run it out this way. I like that. We got pretty cells in here, man. All right. Let's go ahead and pull this off the edge here a little better. Or maybe I'll just pat it a little bit there. There we go. And I'll give her one more run around. And then I will pick it up and show it to you. And uh, we'll set it over there to dry. And get us another one. We're going to do you a two for today. All right, let's put that up on there. Oh man, look how that ghost, ghost colors are coming out in there. Let me pick this up and show it to you. All right, let's see here. Pick that up there. Get it right in there. What do you think of that one, y'all? That is pretty, ain't it? Now through the magic of cinematography, we are back at last. Now on this second one, we're gonna try another one of these cool colors I just got. We're gonna try really teal as a background color. And I'm gonna dip this paddle in there 
I'm trying not to make a mess like I did with that first one. There you go. And that should be plenty. Close that back up. And that is really teal. <laughs> From Sherman Williams. Let's see what kind of weird stuff we can do to really teal. <laughs> All right, since it's teal, we're going to start off with a little bit of this Shiva copper on it. Green and copper go so well together, they really do. All right, and then let's see, let's put a little bit of this Tori on there. That's T O. R-I-I. -I. Again, all these colors are from Eye Candy. I am an Eye Candy affiliate. So if you would like to get you some Eye Candy colors, go to my description on this video and you will find a link that takes you there. And also you will find a code to get you 10% off. Want to check these things out? They are inexpensive and they are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Okay, that is uh, a little bit of the uh, Shinto Shrine. And uh, let me see what else we're gonna what else we're gonna put on there. All right, let's do a little bit of this uh, Beetle Blue for my candy. Pop a little bit of that on there. While we're at it, let's do a little ghost glimmer red. On this side. All right. It's a sunshine and morning in Florida Keys. Well, not yet. <laughs> it's 5.30 in the morning right now. All right, now you see that right there? We're going to flip this over. I'm gonna set it right there in the middle, watch this. And then we're gonna spin the platform. And we'll see what happened. Let that develop for a minute. Get whatever bubbles might be in there. I'm forever burning bubbles. Anyway. <laughs> Digging it. I guess we're gonna spin it a little bit, spread it out a bit. Let's see what we got here. Hold on. Oh man. Boy, that looks like a snake head in the middle there, man. I don't know what it looked like to y'all, but that looked like a snake head. Hey, babies. I dig it. Um, I think I'm gonna let my little stylus here and see if I can give that snake a tongue, just because I think it's cool. Might not work. I'm gonna try. Put it right out here. All right, put that there. And let's go the other way. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all might not see it. I saw it though, and I think it's cool. And we got some outside barrier. Some outside barrier bubbles too. Looks like. We'll go one more time. That'll work, babies. All right, man, I'm satisfied with that. The hippie digs it. I don't know if you dig it or not, but the hippie digs it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lift this up so you can see it. All right, here we go. Now, once again, you can't see nothing because there ain't no light on it. Let's try this. There you go. Look at that, boys and girls. Man, I do love that. Hope you can dig it. I can dig it, they can dig it, she can dig it, we can dig it, they can dig it. Can you dig it? Can you dig it, baby? If you liked what you saw today, please do hit the like button. We appreciate it. If you're not already a member of the Hippy Dippy family and you would like to be, hit that subscribe button and come on in the house. Take your shoes off. Sit a spell, as they say. 
And uh, if you'd like to know when I do some more crazy stuff, hit that bell on there, click that, and uh, go ahead and hit the scroll down on it, as you see on the screen right here. And go ahead and put that all on it, because uh, if you don't do that, then YouTube gets to decide when you get to see what. If you put all on there, they're going to send you a notification every time I upload a video. And last but not least, if y'all love it, your friends are going to love it, man. That's why they love you, because they love the same stuff as you. So if you can dig it, your friends can dig it. So please do share. Let them know about it, man. Because I'd love to see you all here. And once again, that link is in my description. Go get you some eye candy. It's good stuff. And until I see you again, same black time, same black channel. Peace out.